Jose Mourinho is a man who provokes extremely passionate responses. In his autobiography I Am Zlatan, current Manchester United forward Zlatan Ibrahimovic said of his time with Mourinho at Inter that the Portuguese manager became someone he was basically willing to die for. But of course, he has also made plenty of enemies, especially when it comes to opposition managers. Sometimes this comes in the form of a one-off put-down. He recently defended Claudio Ranieri's honour following the Italian sacking by Leicester City, but he had previously derided his colleague's lack of mastery of English, saying, Ranieri had been in England for five years and still struggled to say good morning and good afternoon. He also described the then 56-year-old as almost 70 years old. He has won a Super Cup and another small trophy, and he is too old to change his mentality. He is old and he hasn't won anything. Carlo Ancelotti similarly received the treatment. Having complained of Mourinho's lack of respect when the latter ran onto the pitch during an Inter Milan vs Sampdoria match in 2009, Ancelotti felt the sharpness of Mourinho's barbs. Many coaches have won it, he said, referring to the Champions League more than once, but there is only one club that was leading 3-0 in the final and managed to lose it. The one-offs are not where the real action is. There are two managers in particular with whom Mourinho's rivalry has run and run. The first is Rafa Benitez. When Benitez's wife, Montserrat Serra, said her husband has made a career out of tidying up Jose Mourinho's messes, Mourinho's fury revealed an ugly side to his character. I think the lady needs to occupy her time, he said. If she takes care of her husband's diet, she will have less time to speak about me. He was on firmer footing when he brought the argument back to football though, saying the only club where her husband replaced me was at Inter Milan, where in six months he destroyed the best team in Europe at the time. But the longest lasting and most intense rivalry of Mourinho is with Arsene Wenger, for whom some of the United manager's most intense put-downs have been reserved. In 2005, he described the Frenchman as being like a voyeur, saying he speaks, he speaks, speaks about Chelsea. More recently, in 2014, when Wenger suggested Mourinho was playing down Chelsea's title chances because of their fear to fail, Mourinho's response was vicious. If he is right, and I'm afraid of failure, it is because I didn't fail many times. Eight years without silverware, that's failure. He's a specialist in failure. If I do that in Chelsea, eight years, I leave and don't come back. It would appear that some of Mourinho's attacks come from a place of genuine antipathy. Some are gamesmanship. Sometimes he is genuinely funny, and sometimes spiteful. Like everything else about Mourinho's character, his relationship with other managers is full of ambivalence.